there were some large players at stake here when it came to unloading some of these block trades. Has their confidence been breached in the process of Morgan Stanley's block trading business? So that's what this probe was going into in fine detail. The report that came out, it's funny, the names themselves were omitted, but the detail itself were little breadcrumbs that could lead the way to find the answers. So that's exactly what this story is on Bloomberg today. There are names Oak Tree, Blackstone, that are coming out um, as some of the firms that were as part of this report. They were on the other end of trades that they thought were being handled with care by Morgan Stanley. When all of this very sensitive information leaks out to the market, it can be market moving. And in this case, it did benefit some of the hedge funds that were shorting the names that Oak Tree and Blackstone were trying to offload. So when they got a head start, not only are they, but Morgan Stanley ends up profiting at the end of the day. And so this is a, a very, very fine uh, report that's coming out. Um, the detail itself, again, doesn't include the names, but there's enough numbers in there that you can, you can lead uh, to each road and, and figure out who at the end was impacted. Catherine, we were just talking about some developments in the airline sector and perhaps the legal ramifications around that. I wonder what the message becomes from this developing story, because when it comes to investors having discussions or discussions being had with investors about block trades, I mean, what kind of gray zone? are we operating within here? So that's what the regulators are coming out and saying. They're saying do not operate in this grave zone. In fact, you need to, if you are telling your clients and the expectation is that you are protecting their information, you need to do just that. And they have evidence that shows there were some bad actors within Morgan Stanley. The, the firm has come out. Those those folks have been, uh, they have left the bank thus far, so the bank has said that they have dealt with the matter, and this settlement is really an ability for them to move forward and for them to show that they are turning over a leaf and that they will conduct business accordingly uh, within these regulatory frameworks. But you're right, these questions about uh, the, the advice that can be offered, which sometimes seems like ordinary course of business, in this case, it was not. It was information that clearly should not have been out there, and there were presentations also that the bank was preparing showing that this was actually something that they were touting, that they were uh, willing to protect their clients' information when in fact they were doing the opposite.